Yeah, banking is an emotive subject these days because the banks have not done us any favours. Um, the global financial crisis is a result of the banks experimenting with our money, right? And so it's like, where is this going to go? It's interesting, actually, that if we look at the, the, the business of banking here in the United States, if we look globally, only 30% of the world's population has a bank account. Did you know that? 70% of the world doesn't have a bank account. In the United States, one-fifth of American households are what we consider underbanked. So unbanked is you don't have a bank account. Underbanked could be that maybe you have a debit card, but you don't have a traditional checking account. And what we're seeing today, that this, this group of underbanked, even here in the United States, representing 20% of the population, that's uh, you know, 40 to 60 million people, this, uh, this group of people... Half of them have college degrees. Half of this group that doesn't opt into the banking system has a college degree. And 25% of them, 25 of them, not 25 of them, 25% of them have a prime credit rating. So why is it that these individuals who theoretically would be attractive to the banking system aren't now being a part of the banking system? Is it because banks suck? Well, maybe. Maybe that's part of it. I uh, asked my daughter this question the other day. She's 11. And I asked her <laughs> this question. Uh, and it's a very simple question. And this is actually at the heart of this, this shift here. I said to her, your, your best friend, her, her friend lives overseas, her friend is Tia. And I said to her, how would you send your friend Tia some money if you wanted to send her some money? My daughter's name is Hannah. She thought about it and she said, well, Dad, I'd probably SMS it to her or email it to her. And now that is the way that kids these days think about communications. It's the way, that's their modality. That's the way that we interact. You know, we interact digitally these days. In fact, YGen and digital natives aren't even using email as much because they use texting and they use Facebook to communicate instead of email these days. So to my daughter, this was the most logical thing. So I said to her, well, here's a proposition, Hannah. What about if I get a piece of paper for you and you write, ha you write Tia's name on it then you write the amount of money that you were going to give her and you send her that piece of paper in the mail and then she can take it to a bank at the other end and get some money. And she said, don't be silly, Daddy. No one would ever do that. <laughs> now, this is a check, right? So when we go to sell someone a banking account today, we say, come and get a checkbook. And we say, hang on a second. Does that make a lot of sense in today's economy? This is M-Pesa in Kenya. Now, in Kenya, there's uh, four big banks. The oldest bank in Kenya is about 105 years old, the Bank of Kenya. Between the big four banks, they have 3.5 million customers. But the bulk of the Kenyan population doesn't live in the banking system. About four years ago, M-Pesa... Um, which is a product produced by Safaricom, the telecommunications company, and PESA came along as a way to transfer money using your mobile phone. PESA is the Swahili word for money, so it means mobile money. So you take 2,000 Kenyan shillings, you go along to an M-Pesa outlet somewhere in Kenya, you put 2,000 shillings over the, uh, the counter, and your friend receives an SMS to their mobile phone saying, you have received 2,000 shillings. They can then take their phone to another Impesa outlet somewhere in Kenya and withdraw the money. Sounds a lot like a debit card, doesn't it? Right? Or a bank account. In fact, now what you can do is you can take your phone along to an ATM machine in Kenya and you can put in your phone number into the ATM machine. You receive a PIN number to your phone. You then use that PIN number and you can withdraw cash out of your phone from the ATM. Pretty amazing. So here we are today in the United States. If I'm in Kenya, I can send money by SMS, and I can't do it in the United States. I have to use a check. Is there something wrong with this picture? <laughs> this is why the banking system's changing. 